are you tired of setting goals and not being able to achieve them just keep watching <music> hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm chikel a nigerian lifestyle vlogger that resides in lagos and if you're new here oh just grab a seat and be comfortable because we are a very welcoming family okay and don't forget to subscribe all right and if you are loyal subscribers thank you so much for stopping by again this video promises to be exciting inspiring as you've seen the topic already all right so we're just going to jump right into this video so guys of late i've been uploading um some write-ups on my instagram if you're not following me on instagram the handle is up there just check it out okay so i've been uploading some stuffs on my instagram and the, the, there was one i uploaded about you know writing down goals and setting goals and all of that and you know some persons related to it and I, some persons ask questions which i felt that okay let me make a video regarding this all right so that's why i'm making this video and i believe that it's going to help you yes i know we are already in february and we are entering march all right it's not really bad even though some persons have started achieving their goals and you have not started achieving yours it's not bad at all you can still um you can still um, set goals and still achieve them all right there is no lateness at all okay all fingers are not equal so don't feel bad if you've been beating yourself before just stop all right don't beat yourself anymore after watching this video i believe that you'll be able to find yourself in the right direction okay so keep watching so you probably have not been achieving your goals because you always keep them up here and not written down all right it's one thing to have your goals up here and it's another thing to have them written down so that you can always go back to look at them and remind yourself that okay i actually set this goal to you know read a book or to start a business or to lose some pounds you know those kind of things because if you keep them in your mind i don't know whether the mind is here or here but if you keep them in your mind you tend to forget because we are humans we uh, go through a lot of activities every day you know you plan that okay i'll do this by the end of the day and at the end of the day you find out that you don't you didn't even do anything close to it all right so that's just why you've not been achieving your goals it's one thing like i said to have your goals in your mind and it's another thing to have them written down so start now to start writing down those goals don't just keep them in your mind because like i said you're a human you have a lot of shadows you have a lot of activities things come up okay life happens and you may forget that goal that you set out all right so get a diary all right that's one thing i learned these things i'm sharing with you guys are, are things that i've learned over time okay especially with starting up a business and all of that okay so get a diary and write them down don't just say okay i'll remember it i plan to achieve this goal so the time and i will definitely remember no no you might not remember because you are human you have a lot of things to do all right so get a diary it's very affordable get one pen those goals down all right and you find out that it's one step towards achieving your goals so another thing is to have a plan you can't just set your goals write them down and not have a plan the plan is what motivates you to achieve your goal here's an example he said i will buy a car soon or i would like to have a car or i will like to have a house but he didn't say, okay, I will buy a car in November or I will buy a car in September or any of those times. Do you understand? So the plan is what motivates you to, you know, it pushes you to want to work towards achieving that goal. If there is no plan, it's more like you'll be relaxed. You'll feel like, oh, I'll buy a car, I'll buy a house. Do you understand? But the plan is what pushes you. The plan reminds you that, oh, Annabelle, you said you're going to buy a house in November. So every time a month comes in, you remember that I said I was going to buy a car in November. So you always do something towards achieving that goal. Do you understand? And someone asked um, on my Facebook page, um, he said that, what if I write the goals down? I also set a plan when I wrote it down, but I don't remember where I kept the diary. 
Google has actually made things easier for us these days, okay? There's the internet. We have a lot of Google um, tools to use, like Google Docs. I use Google Docs a lot, Google Sheets and all of that, you get. So if you if you like using um, uh, paper and pen to write your goals, it's fine. If you like using Google Doc like me, you know, you like leaving them in the cloud like me, it's also fine. But basically, I feel leaving them in the cloud it's it's safer do you understand and it's it's lasts for a longer time like what the um the person asked that what if i can't find where i wrote them down you may write your goals down yes you're satisfied that yeah i've written them down i'm gonna work towards it and something something happens god forbid your house uh, catches fire or where you kept it you can't find anymore or someone comes into your house and mistakenly takes it away and can't remember where he or she kept it you understand a lot of things can happen so that's why keeping them in the cloud it's safer you can get one of these tools like google doc i use it a lot like i said you can get um google sheets you can you know uh you can also use google calendar to set the plan okay you um set a reminder in a month that in this month i'm gonna achieve this in this month i'm gonna you know start a hair business in this month i'm gonna a lot of things a cooking class or something do you understand a master class do you get so don't just set goals write them down and also have a plan that motivates you towards achieving that plan and like i said it's okay to write them in a handy book all right but you can also write them down and also keep them in the cloud so that you can um always remember i know all of us know what cloud is more like dropbox and all of that google doc you know so yeah okay this next one also goes hand in hand with having a plan and this one says have a to-do list or make a to-do list okay this point is a lifesaver for me especially since i started my business okay when i didn't have a to-do list i will always be like like my, my day literally crashes in my face like I just come back and be like oh god i didn't do this i said i was gonna do this and all of that do you understand so this one is um for i think i, I feel this one is for daily goals more like when you wake up you set out um your schedule for the day and you you hope to achieve everything and if you don't have a to-do list you find out that you won't even achieve half of it do you understand i remember then i'll be like okay i'll go i'll, I'll, I'll call this client and ask for this or i'll tell my staff to send me this or you know those kind of things and at the end of the day i'll be like and everybody's asking me like where is it where is this way then i'm like oh god i forgot she get so having a to-do list has always been a lifesaver for me and it really helps have a to-do list you wake up in the morning you write down uh, what are those things i said i'm gonna do today okay i'm gonna go to this place i'm gonna deliver this i'm gonna you understand those kind of things and say them how it should be state them how it should be okay these are the ones that should be for morning these are the ones that should be for afternoon these are the ones that should be for evening and when you um settle at night or before you go to bed review them and check if you actually achieved everything on your to-do list okay if you don't want to write them in a book like i said you can always use the internet like you know those google tools like uh, that i stated all right you know write them down there are a lot of apps that helps with to do um listen so write them down and be like okay yes i you tick them once you're done you tick them okay i achieved this i achieved this i achieved it oh i didn't achieve this okay tomorrow i'll try again do you understand so that's what a to-do list helps you to do it keeps you in check for the things you set out to achieve all right so this next point basically talks about the fact that no man is an island okay nobody has it all nobody knows it all i mean no parts you may know parts but we can bring our parts together and you know build on it do you understand so learn from others that's my next point learn from others don't just stay satisfied in your zone and be like i already know it i don't need to learn more on it i don't even care what you have to say about it my point is the most valid one you know those kind of things no today you may feel like your point is what works tomorrow it may be the other person's point that works that's how life is okay even the adults can learn from children the children can learn from adults okay we, that's why we're in this world to cohabit together all right the big the small the large the you know medium all of that so 
learn from others go on the internet browse stuff if you feel like you don't know something oh i want to learn it oh i i, I don't know about this I want to know about this go on the internet there are lots of resources there are lots of write-ups there are lots of videos if you feel like you're you don't really like reading stuff you know there's some person that don't like reading they prefer watching the video um, knowledge of that thing do you understand what I mean so you can go up watch videos about it listen to podcasts okay it all these things helps get necessary materials to help you learn that thing you don't need to you don't need to if you have a goal to achieve you don't need to remove that goal from your list because you don't have knowledge about that thing no go all out and learn that thing pay somebody to teach you or get someone that will teach you for free either way you get the basic thing is you're trying to better yourself all right because who knows you might be the one to teach the younger one tomorrow and you will thank yourself for actually learning that thing do you understand so go online there are lots of resources there learn about that thing you wish to know how to do okay and you'll find out that you'll be very proud of yourself all right and guys this one is so important pray about it okay don't just write those goals and you know do all the things i said without praying about it prayer is what prayer is like a platform that you can put anything and be sure that those things will happen okay it's more like a very comfortable bed okay that you can put anything and trust that it will happen no matter how small it is no matter how large you think it is no matter how big no matter how minute you think those goals are god is able he will grant you all of it it may take time and whenever I, i've come to understand that whenever things um take time things that I plan to achieve, things that I plan to do, take time, even though I've prayed about it. You might not know what God is doing behind the scenes. You might not know. Probably you don't need them, uh, those things that time, you know, or probably it's just something he's doing that, you know, he, he may alone knows because if he tells you about it, you may probably fret. You may probably be afraid. Do you get? So just always pray about it. It might be, um, I always talk about business because I do business. Okay. It might be starting a business. It might be your academics. It might be, marriage it might be relationship you know whatever it is always pray about it it might be getting some fancy things all right bag or shoe like i said no matter how small it it is even if you think that that thing is very stupid why, why should i pray about it? i usually think that kind of thing sometimes like but i've come to understand that no matter how how hilarious i think that thing is i should always pray about it and it really helps okay so always put those goals in prayers Believe God, all right, and He will make everything come to pass for you. Okay, so guys, we have come to the end of this video, and I really enjoyed myself, and I believe you also enjoyed yourself. Please try these tips, okay, and share your feedback. I want to know if they worked, all right, because they've worked for me, so I believe they'll also work for you. So if you try it, just let me know, okay. And if you've, if you know any more tips that has worked for you, please share with me, okay. We learn every day, like I said, so I also like like to learn those tips that has helped you. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. And if you're new here, like I said, you're very, very welcome. Please join our loyal family by subscribing to my channel, okay. Please subscribe and also um click the like button to like this video and also share this video because i feel that it's going to really be helpful to every and anybody okay so please share this video like it and please hit the subscribe button okay thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video mm -hmm.